Welcome to Jamaica Tarotted, where I recap some of the biggest news items out of Jamaica from the week that was. These stories next, after the jump. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! The state of public emergency that was recently declared by Prime Minister Andrew Onis for the western parishes of St. James, Hanover and Westmoreland was extended by 90 days. After a debate in the House of Representatives, 44 members of Parliament voted in favour of an extension, while one MP voted against it. 18 members of the House of Representatives were absent throughout the course of the week. It was being rumoured on social media that Jamaica's fifth Prime Minister, Edward Siaga, had died. However, there is no truth to this. The reality, however, is that the former Prime Minister has been admitted to a hospital in Miami and has been receiving treatment for two chronic illnesses, though the specifics were not released. His wife, Carla Siaga, through a release via Jamaica House, said that her husband has been receiving great medical care and is doing better than a few weeks ago. She also stated that Mr. Siaga is scheduled to receive further treatment at the Miami hospital. A 35-year-old teacher at the Belmont Primary School in Portmore St. Catherine was shot and killed on Teacher's Day after gunmen invaded his house. The teacher, Clevon Campbell, along with his nephew, was shot when his Westmead home in Bridgeport, Portmore was invaded. He was pronounced dead at the hospital while his nephew was admitted for treatment. A police officer assigned to the mobile reserve was shot and killed in Rollington Town. He has been identified as Constable Tadmar Allen. Three shot, one fatally, after gunmen carried out a brazen daylight attack along Maxfield Avenue. The incident reportedly occurred along Garden Lane at about 3.30 pm, where a group of men were reportedly working on motorcycles. Reports are that armed men pounced upon them and opened fire. The three injured persons were rushed to hospital where one person was pronounced dead. 11 students of Edwin Allen High School in Frankfield Clarendon were injured when a seven-seater taxi that they were traveling in plunged over the Grantham Bridge in the parish. Nine of the injured students were taken to the Percy Junior Hospital while two were transferred to the Kingston Public Hospital. The five men who were detained by the police after the decomposing body of 11-year-old Trisha Morris of Woodland District in Hanover was found a few days ago has been released without charge. The police stated that after the men were questioned, there was no evidence to press charges against them. A teen is still in hospital after she was attacked, raped and beaten by a man who has since been arrested by the police. The 17 year old who was attacked beaten and raped in the Above Rocks community is still in hospital unable to walk and is said to be suffering from seizures. Quasi Hart, the man who stabbed and killed 14-year-old Jamaica College schoolboy Nicholas Francis in October of 2006 has pleaded guilty. Hart pleaded guilty before the start of his trial in the home circuit court in downtown Kingston recently. He is slated to be sentenced on the 5th of July. There are more questions in relation to the much publicized drama which unfolded in the old capital of Spanish Town recently, where three men, including a police officer, was allegedly shot and killed. The post-mortem examination for the three men, businessman Sheldon Daly, O.C. Junior Biggs, Corporal Rohan Williams of the Mobile Reserve and civilian Kevron Borrell has left more questions than answers. The autopsy revealed that only one of the three died from gunshot wounds and that was Sheldon Daly. However, the reports suggest that no bullet fragments were found in his body. Meanwhile, the reports also suggested that Kevron Borrell, the civilian who was injured in a crash involving a vehicle he was driving, his examination along with Corporal Rohan Williams said both men died from blunt force trauma, which suggests that they did not die from bullet wounds. Borrell's father has however rubbished those claims as he said that he was present at the time of the incident and that his son was shot 
multiple times in his head. Corporal Kurt Fraser, who was up to recently still on the run during a Television Jamaica interview, stated that his colleague Corporal Rohan Williams was also shot in his head. The main suspect in the murder of former Eastern Portland Member of Parliament, Dr. Linville Bloomfield, 20-year-old Simeon Sutherland, has been granted bail in the sum of 800,000 Jamaican dollars when he appeared in the Portland Parish Court recently. He was given strict reporting conditions and was ordered to reside at a specific address outside of Portland. He was also ordered to surrender his travel documents. His lawyer, Peter Champigny, is still advocating for the trial to be transferred from the Portland Parish Court to the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston. Two teachers and a clerk were arrested in relation to a multi-million dollar salary racket at the Ministry of Education. The three who turned themselves into detectives at the fraud squad between May 7th and 9th will appear in court on May 28th after they were charged for simple larceny and a conspiracy to defraud. It is being alleged that the two teachers were paid in excess of over 23 million Jamaican dollars over a 13 month period and that the clerk received a percentage of the money. Police allege that the overpayment would have spanned a period of time between June of 2017 and August of 2018. Meanwhile, Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Anderson, in a press conference recently, confirmed that former Minister of Education, Senator Ruel Reed, is the subject of a criminal investigation. The commissioner, however, did not provide much detail as he said that investigations were ongoing and it was not wise to speak about it. The Gordonton police are refuting claims made by reggae singer and Rastafarian Jadur that his two dreadlock children were trimmed and fed meat by police officers. In a newspaper interview, the reggae artist stated that police showed up at his home, stating that they had received reports that the children were not being sent to school. It has since been revealed by the entertainer that the children were being homeschooled. The artist went on to state that the children were removed from their Irish town home and taken to the police station, during which they were taken to the barber where their hair was trimmed and were given meat to eat. The artist also alleged that he received injuries to his face during an altercation at the police station, after which he said he was charged for assaulting a police officer. The police, however, has since refuted the claims, saying that this is not so and that they did not or cause the trimming or feeding of the children. The police are contending that the children, four and eight year old respectively, were taken to the barber and fed by family members. The commissioner of police has since ordered an investigation into the accusations. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.